Hey guys, it's Amber and I'm excited to share with you my completed 6x12 album for my California trip. So it is super chunky, but it was definitely a labor of love. I'm really happy to have it in a physical album. It's been sitting for eight years waiting for my ephemera to have a home. So I used a couple products running throughout the album. So you'll see like a theme. Um, I used several of these pleather stickers from the 2020 Ali Edwards travel kit. I actually used all of them that came in the kit throughout the album. Um, I have some lots and lots of 6x12 enlargements. Um, I have some videos along the way showing how I created some like day dividers and things and I'll kind of explain that as we go. So opening page here, this is from Echo Park. California series. This is from Feed Your Craft where they had an um, in a creative bubble travel line. Um, this is actually a flip up. It's one of the only ones in the album just showing a picture from the plane and my ticket itinerary. And this is actually a two by two pocket trim down on the outside of the page protector and this is like stuck down inside so it doesn't fall out. Um, so just a little intro. One thing that was fun about doing a 6x12, because it's my first time I've ever done this album, was creating a double page spread. It's just like creating a single 12x12 spread in Project Life. Um, I did feel like I couldn't use quite as many embellishments as I normally would, or filler cards, so I just did the best I could and... Uh, had fun with it. I really wanted to focus a lot on the photos. So there's some series where there's no embellishments hardly at all. And they're very minimal anyway. So here I have another card from that in a creative bubble kit with Feed Your Craft. This is a Kelly Perky card. And I just thought that was perfect. It even looks like a little Southwest flight plane. Um, a card from the 2020 Travel Collection with Allie. And then a Pink Fresh Studio Card. I do not recall right here who makes this card, but I used an Allie Edwards stamp on here to kind of make it look sort of passporty, even though I wasn't traveling outside the country. Here I have a see-through pocket. This was a topographic style map um, clear piece from the 2020 travel collection. thought the suitcase was cute, and then I just stapled my bag tag right on there. And on the back side, I just backed it with white and included a little piece of chipboard. It's actually just free floating in there, but it's perfectly... Uh, three inches wide so it doesn't really move. Uh, so what I did, this trip is going out to visit my best friend from college at the time. I went out for like eight days and we had a blast. She and her husband live out there and so this was like when they first picked me up, took me to dinner. So I just have a card here from the restaurant. I talked about it in one of my videos before but when I first start a trip and I'm with other people sometimes I'm nervous to start taking photos right away so I don't have any photos from that at all like going to the airport or getting picked up or anything um, but so I wanted to still include it anyway and then we went to Santa Monica and this was like the first picture of me on the beach and it's blurry and out of focus but I didn't care because I was happy and I was in California so it was fun. This is just a little postcard that I picked up. And then this is us at Santa Monica Park. And I included another three by four pocket on the outside here. This one's actually four by three technically. And I just put our little ride card in there just for something fun and added one little piece of chipboard. Um, I used quite a few from the Friends story kit with Allie because there's a lot about Friends stuff on there on the chipboard set. And then just some uh, word phrases from various sheets. Uh, created my itinerary here. And then I used this puffy foam sticker set from Simple Stories to uh, consistently throughout the album in certain areas and just some cork pieces going down the side. This was actually one of the last things that I created. I made two uh, page dividers for the two locations where we were in LA and San Francisco which is about halfway through the book, where I uh, cut this out in vinyl on my silhouette and then just added it to a 7x12 piece of clear acetate that you can buy from Amazon. 
and intentionally had it going off the edge as just a fun divider and I just thought that made a cool see-through element. Uh, paper from Scrapbook Customs from scrapbook.com with the map and the cork little pieces here. Some die cuts, chipboard and uh, stickers and then these little hearts here kind of indicate like new days. So like this was like a travel day and then the next day. So I'm getting in my map, I'm getting in my itinerary, but I'm also like, you know, using it as a page divider. So the first day we, full day, we went surfing, which was really awesome. Used a piece of chipboard from the 2019 travel collection and another one of those foam stickers. Uh, some stickers from Pink Fresh. I do not know anymore who made this card. I had it saved with my stuff for a really long time and I just added some Kelly Perky letter stickers there. And then I have another one of the foam tags on the back, or pleather, not foam, sorry, from Allie Edwards. This is a Kelly Perky card with the different oceans, and I put a little X sticker on there for Pacific. And then we went to a butterfly garden here. So I have some of these on the outside, actually like kind of breaking the barriers a little, and I really love the way this came out. Added another chipboard from the Friends set and some more wood face stickers. And some more pictures on the back. This is from the brand new Ali Edwards Up and Downs collection. So we went to the beach, went to the check out the butterfly garden, and then saw an amazing sunset. Uh, this is a pleather piece from one of the story kit add-ons that I just put on the outside of the page protector. And then we went for technically this is the next day but I couldn't put my page divider here. I needed to fill some photos. So we went for uh, brunch the next day, and then here's my page divider. So another heart. This is um, Pink Fresh Studios from their travel collection last year. I have a photo of the Hollywood Walk of Fame. I added this digital word art here before I printed, and I have a little foam star on the outside. Um, I have a six by eight insert here. We went to Crumbs. And this started us taste testing from like four different bakeries in like 10 days. It was kind of funny. So we went to Crumbs first. I picked up one of their little gift cards as like a business card kind of thing. And then showing us at the Walk of Fame. Here I just have a piece of ephemera that I punched and added right in there from the Kodak Theater. And I added a four by eight page protector from Citrus Twist Kicks and I actually flipped it so that the four by six was on the bottom and the little, I think it's like two and a half by four sized photo could go here. And then on the back I just had included another vertical of myself and I made a little title with an Ellie Edwards stamp and some Ellie's Studio puffy stickers. And then just a few photos here. Like I said, very minimal embellishments. The only thing on this layout is a piece of chipboard. An Allie Edwards card, just journaling where we were, what we were doing. And we actually ended up getting stuck there. <laughs> um, the, all the roads were shut down. And we went to, across the street from a movie premiere. And later in the week, we actually went and saw it out of just pure interest from seeing all the cast. But it was really cool. Um, I remember being crazy excited when Mario Lopez got out of his limo. He was working for E.T. Um, like interviewing everybody but like seeing him and recognizing him when he got out of the limo like right across the street from us was like I was so excited. Um, you know we saw Jennifer Lopez and the way I actually organized these was by the couples in the show. The movie I mean. So Anna Kendrick, Chase Crawford, Cameron Diaz, Matthew Morrison from Glee, Rebel Wilson and Elizabeth Banks, Joe Manganiello, uh, Andy Roddick and his wife Brooklyn Decker. She's in the movie. He's the famous tennis player. So it was really cool. And there was other famous people there that we didn't even get a chance to see because it was so crazy. And then here we are moving on to a next day. I did try to play with like the colors of this being pink and black. So including some stickers in the card and then a pink and black thing here. So another Ellie Edwards heart, a little chipboard and another sticker. I love these stickers from the 2020 Travel Collection. It's almost like a black vellum with silver foil. They're super cool, great texture. So the next day we went to the WB Studios. I needed another six by 12 insert, added a handful of Word Afraid stickers here that uh, kind of helped coordinate with this bright yellow sticker. This was like our parking pass. So it's fun to be able to include the ephemera. And this is actually 
a six packet 12 by 12 page that I cut down here just to include some more vertical photos. You have to get creative when you have a six by 12 size, but I do this often even in my normal project life. Uh, not usually this size, but I'll include a double wide. Uh, so just some more photos using some more pieces from the friendship kit. I actually cut this long chipboard piece. It was about this big in half so that I could, well in like there's three friendships and two friendships here. So I could use it in two different places. Some more work grade stickers. Uh, some pictures of us on the tour. So like our little uh, tram. My top five favorite memories. Seeing some Harry Potter ephemera. And there was actually a whole Harry Potter museum. But we weren't allowed to visit or take photos during the visit. Sorry. Uh, the old friend stage. Seeing the friend Central Park. And then a picture of my friend taking pictures. So here, for this card, this is all digitally created, I started with the Friends kit and created my own card with journaling, and I kind of wish I had looked up the Friends logo because I use this idea in the next few pages, and you'll see what I mean. But it was still nice to be able to use the Allie Edwards digital. Uh, so we made our second stop at a cupcake place near where my friend lived. And then... We went to an American Idol signing. So I found the American Idol logo online and created my own file and journaling. And so we, it was weird. Coles was creating an American Idol themed clothing line. So the top nine out of the top 12, or some of the nine out of the top 12 were there. And I took uh, pictures with all of them, but I included some of my favorites and some of their uh, autographs here just to keep it simple and then moving on to the next day we went to Beverly Hills so I thought this was a fun photo of me in Rodeo Drive uh, another product from the 2020 travel collection that I used all of were these fun fabric flags so there's five in this little kit so like a yellow orange blue green and a light blue and I ended up using all five of them on six by 12 inserts just like this. So I cut off the side by putting it all the way to the left and I just really like the way they draw your eye in. This is a rubber heart piece. I'm not even sure who makes this anymore, but it's on the outside of the page protector just for something different. Uh, I have a trimmed piece here again with some photos. And then when we were in the parking garage, I was riding in the elevator with the famous lead actress Santa Caddick from Castle. So I did the same thing here where I included the logo and then did some journaling um, and did some handwritten journaling here because it was kind of the story of telling of how we parked like right next to her, rode in the elevator, asked her a photo when I recognized her voice and then like saying like how did people not realize that this huge star was walking right by because um, I was a massive Castle fan so it was really a fun starstruck moment for me. Uh, just showing some close-ups of the street and the signs. The famous Beverly Wilshire. This was uh, like a Louis Vuitton uh, ad that was going on and had arrows. My friend and I used to compete on an archery team together, so we had fun taking pictures with their display. Uh, went to Sprinkles Cupcakes. This is another chipboard piece from the Friends Kit. And then this is a sticker from the box that I saved. Has a tiny little rip, but I tried to cover it with... Uh, uh, card stock sticker there. And then just some alley cards and a Kelly Perky card. I'm just talking about more of our day. Here is um, when we went out to dinner with some of their friends. So I have a picture of the outside of the restaurant, a picture of all of us. I created a 4x6 see-through pocket here. This is a transparency from the Michaels Recollection collection. And I just included two simple puppy hearts back to back. Photo of my food and a digital card from the Eat Story Kit that I just added my journaling to and printed out. Moving on to the next day, this was a really fun paper line from Simple Stories. Added another Ali Edwards heart and a little word phrase sticker. This is Hike Mountains there. And this is actually the first one that I thought of to create and then the whole rest of the album dividers came out after this one. So I have a blown up six by 12 of the Hollywood sign, another one of these clear acetate pieces, and then a patch from 
the 2020 travel collection and these are actually both on the outside attached with red line tape so i have another card here from that same little collection and then some word phrase stickers and just some close-ups of us doing lots of things on our hike a few more stickers here uh, went out to eat at Cheesecake Factory and I did the same treatment here where I pulled the graphics online and created a digital card. Added a little chipboard on the outside here from the Friends collection and a chipboard here from the Eat collection. And then here is my other divider for San Francisco. Really love the way that these came out. I definitely want to try to do these in a future albums because I think they came out super awesome so here I have a paper for the Golden Gate Bridge and this is made by I think it's scrapbook customs again um, it was a 12 by 12 that I cut down and I have another one of these hearts rubber hearts and then I have a close-up of the Coit Tower another one of the acrylic pieces and another patch these are on the inside and then I also have one of the foam stickers from Simple Stories. And I just thought it really made a nice little gathering there. Another card from the Echo Park collection. This is from, I believe, Citrus Twist. I could be wrong. It just says Explore. Added some journaling and then some word phrase stickers. This was us going down Lombard Street. And then some views. I have quite a few pages here of the Golden Grape Bridge. It was like a really big deal. Um, so this is from Allie's Adventure Story Kit. A pink fresh sticker. Kelly Porky card that I thought just helped draw the colors together. I have another one of these fabric flags and some word phrase stickers. And this was from a brochure. I just cut this out and attached that right to the photo. And then I have a close-up of us in front of Alcatraz, just goofing off by the beach. Um, another pleather sticker on the outside of the page protector and this is an acrylic geotag from Colorcast Designs on the outside of the page protector. I liked the pink and how it helped pull in some of the reds. So here is a flip out that I created by taking a full six page vertical 4x6 page protector, trimming off two of them and folding it in half just to create a little bit of interest. Um, this part here is two cards back to back on an acetate card so that it will stay in place. I have another pleather sticker here on the outside just for some texture. This was a card from the 2020 travel collection that I recolored digitally just to help match because the original is bright yellow. And then just more photos on the back. Another chipboard piece from the friends kit and a few more uh, word phrase stickers. Here I had a postcard that it was really large so I just punched holes in that and included it and then a pamphlet about the Golden Gate Bridge. Another um, 4x8 traveler's notebook size page protector from Citrus Twists. It really holds these brochures perfectly. Uh, a few more photos from like our view from the bridge back looking at the city on the bridge, some journaling on a Studio Calico card and a few little stickers. And we went to Pier 39. I took a card from the 2019 travel collection and recolored it to match. I pulled the color from here of us seeing the sea lions. Here's another pamphlet. And then where we had dinner that night, seeing the sunset over the bay. And a digital card from the Eat Kit. And then we went to din uh, dessert at Ghirardelli. So this is an Ellie's Studio card and then just a few word phrase stickers. So here I have an American Crafts page that I um, added another Allie Edwards heart and a patch to. I used quite a few of these and it was nice having those in the album. And then this was a stingray that was right outside our hotel and I didn't necessarily want to include it but I didn't have any other photos and I thought it would kind of be fun. Um, and I was able to use another one of these flags, the woven flags. This is actually a like a rose gold tag from the 2019 travel collection that I cut off and another sticker. This was a little card I grabbed from the hotel. Normally I would like just chop it up or something, but it ended up being the perfect spot to show where we stayed and give me a place to include the only 4x6 photo we had. 
Um, I wanted to include the information, so otherwise I would have blown this photo up, but it was kind of nice, and then I just added the little chipboard. Just gives it something smaller and a fun change of size and a fun way to use the ephemera. So my friends have a boat that they keep up at this marina. So we visited their boat and we were hanging out at the marina for a little bit. So I have another see-through pocket here with two back-to-back -back puffy hearts. Um, I just added some Kelly Perky letter stickers and this is from the Ali Edwards 2019 Travel Collection, a little sailboat sticker. So just some photos of them checking things out. Added some stickers here. And, um, another chipboard from the friend kit on the outside of the page protector. This is a in a creative bubble digital file from her San Francisco set and I recolored it and then just added a word phrase sticker. Let's see. So here we went to Alamo Square and saw the painted ladies. I'm not sure who created this card here. I want to say Studio Calico but I just used it as a great spot to include my journaling. Some bright colors and found this um, I believe it's an Allie Edwards card to match, kind of, and pull the colors. A little chipboard from Gossamer Blue on the outside. And then, I think this is an Echo Park card. I could be wrong. Might be simple stories from their travel collection. Added a word phrase sticker just to the middle of the card, and then just some pictures of the scenes. This page is not a new day opener, but I needed a 6x12. And it worked out and I kept any hearts off of it. So hopefully people don't think it's the next day. Um, this is another card from the In a Creative Bubble San Francisco set. And then a Gossamer Blue chipboard. And then I took a 12 by 12 photo from Postcard Row and cut it in half. Added a little digital word art and a little puffy sticker after I printed it. And I thought that that kind of was a fun way to do a double page spread and then here we visited the full house house <laughs> which is a funny way of saying it but um, this is the actual house that they use for the intros they didn't really film here uh, but it's funny because they have the gateway tied off so people won't try to go up there I just took a little three inch paper die cut from Allie Edwards wrote my journaling and then used a little puffy sticker from one of her past kits from a couple years ago of a little house just for some decoration. Uh, we took a trolley ride so I have a picture of the trolley us riding it hanging off the side and waving at people. This is from I think the Echo Park they had a travel collection last year and I pulled the San Francisco card and then my ticket that I had saved this is a from the Allie Edwards 2019 travel collection and then this little sticker of the train as well that I included and this is like a view from the inside of what we could see and a picture of me hanging off the side and here I included a menu from the next cupcake place we stopped at this is actually a sticker from the box a little close-up of what we ordered this is an Ellie's studio card and I added some Kelly Perky uh, stickers there in the back showing that we went to Fisherman's Wharf for dinner. This is from the Eat Collection, I think. And then this is another one of the San Francisco cards from In a Creative Bubble. I removed a few li extra lines and then I colored in the adventure with a color that I pulled from the crab and then a picture from dinner and I had a business card and I just punched out the logo and added that onto my photo. So here I used a map of Fisherman's Wharf that was like in one of the big pamphlets and trimmed that down to a 6x12 and added a heart and used it as a patterned paper and then added a little word phrase sticker. Okay so on our next day we were headed home and we made multiple stops on our way. The first time we drove to San Francisco we took the I-5 and we were there in like four or five hours. On the way home, we took the PCH, which is like a nine hour drive from San Francisco to LA. Maybe not quite that long, but we made so many stops, it really got drug out. So we went to this state park where these dunes were like awesome. It was really cool for scale. So I included another one of these, oh, pardon me, one of these uh, woven arrows, some more chipboard pieces to help pull in some of the colors I used. I have another one of the foam 
uh, thickers. And this is an old Simple Stories card, like super old. Um, so just trying to show some scale of how tiny my friends are in these huge dunes and a picture looking down at my feet. And then a an card from the Adventure Story Kit, beach combing. Uh, next stop, we went to Carmel. So I wanted to include a picture of the beach even though we were barely there. Uh, but I used some thickers here to spell out where we were. We went to the Carmel Mission. So I have a picture of what it looked like, some of the grounds. Uh, it was really beautiful there. We were able to set up a selfie here and take a photo of all of us. And then I really loved all the florals that I had seen. So I included several photos and another see-through pocket here of all the fun and beautiful flowers. And then an abalone shells were all over the cemetery and the ground. So I have an abalone shell close up here. Um, um, close up of my friend and I and the other half of that friendship chipboard with a few more word phrase stickers. And here we stopped um, on our way home and Big Sur. I added the Big Sur digitally, added the thickers and then a puppy sticker on top. And then I added another woven arrow here with some more word phrase stickers. This is a transparency from the 2019 travel collection that I used as like a card here. I have a citrus twist chipboard and some photos of the scenery. And then a place where we stopped for lunch. Here's like one of these stained glass windows but it's made from abalone shells. Really beautiful. And then this I believe is I can't remember. I want to say it's Studio Calico card but I'm not 100% sure. I think so. Uh, included another pamphlet and one of the 4x8 page protectors. And then here we stopped and hiked in the Redwoods. So I took one of these thickers again, but I needed it to show up a little bit better on this photo. So I punched out a vellum circle that was three inches to just help it pop a little more, but still be see-through. I really like the way that looked. Added a little heart from that same set. I have several uh, large photos here because the trees were so tall it made for really awesome 6x12 photos. So just a picture of my friend and I um, from the, up where we were able to see the treetops as we had hiked up, my friend and her husband. This is another card from that Echo Park California kit. Some more word phrase stickers. Another one of the pleather tags. And then here we have another pleather tag in front of the waterfall. Um, a photo of me trying to show how huge this tree is. It was massive. You can't even see the whole thing. Um, this is another pleather sticker from the Rome kit that's on the outside of the page protector. And then here I took an older Allie Edwards card uh, that said travel moments. And then these are from the 2019 travel collection. So I put the one through five on there and just wrote five little things I wanted to remember from this adventure we had. And then we finished our hike in time to catch this partial eclipse that we knew was happening. Um, the biggest thing was trying to like make the time crunch. So we got to see this off the cliffs of Big Sur. It was stunning. I didn't even look at the sun. I just held my camera up and snapped a bunch of photos. So I have a few uh, pictures from that. This is a stu uh, studio calico card here where I checked off all the things we did. It says explore. I hiked, I walked, I climbed, I made memories. I saw the redwoods. Um, this is an old Kelly Perky card. And then another thing we wanted to see on the way home was sea lions at the specific area where they gather and it was like pitch black so we were trying to our best to take photos um, so i wanted to include it because it was part of what we did uh, so i just added a little label sticker here explaining and then a little moon sticker from the 2019 travel collection and then on the back here i just have some photos on my flight home a few more word phrase stickers this is from Citrus Park Twists, I believe. And then this is from the 2019 Travel Collection, but I recolored it digitally and pulled the colors from the plane. And I thought that was a great way to end the book. So, hope you enjoyed looking through that. Inside the covers here, I included two uh, stickers from this California sticker set from the Scrapbook Customs. I wanted to use more of these, but I couldn't really find anywhere that they matched. So I put the camera here, 
California Adventure on the inside. And then the last thing I'll be punching holes and in including is this 6x12 pocket from Becky Higgins that just has other pamphlets and oversized postcards and just things that didn't really fit into the album or I didn't want to punch holes into. Like this um, would have just barely fit in the album, but then you wouldn't be able to open it and see um, the picture inside. So I think that will be a fun thing to have in the back. And it even has a little place where you can put like a little card here or decoration. So that'll be tucked into the very end. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you got some inspiration. I definitely enjoyed working in this 6x12 size. It was difficult for a 10 day vacation. Even keeping it like limited. This book is chunky. It is really full. Um, as you can see, it just barely closes. Um, but once it's sitting on the shelf, I think it'll be fine. Uh, I did struggle a little bit with being able to put in fun embellishments because I do enjoy that. But I'm really glad that I got a lot of photos and quite a few stories told. And hopefully you're inspired to work on your own travel albums. Thanks so much.